Here we have a 2015 BMW 5 Series 528i. This one comes in mineral gray metallic on tan Dakota leather upholstery. And the powertrain consists of a two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine made into an eight speed automatic transmission. And that gets you 240 horsepower. And as we get to the front end here, we have LED daytime running lights, LED halo rings along with HID headlamps. And I believe those are LED fog lights there. But a very clean looking car, very elegant. And this one has 17 inch aluminum wheels. We get passive keyless entry on all four doors. And there are the controls for the power windows, power mirrors, a memory seat function there. Headlamp controls. You have a power tilt and telescope and steering wheel. And there is our power driver seat with power lumbar support and power thigh support. And there's our back seat there. Take a look at this center seat here. And there we have our cup holders and a little storage tray. And then we also have rear AC vents and a little storage there. Let's check out the trunk space next. It's a really good trunk space size, very long. And then you have a little pocket over here and then a big pocket over there. And then this is also a power trunk there. So we can just close it, touch of a button. And there's our back end there. And then here we have the same controls we do on the driver's side, which is always nice to have. We have that power thigh support, power lumbar support, and then the power seat. And then we have our memory seat controls here. So you just hold it and it'll move to the position that's set up. Now we're just gonna go ahead and pop the hood. And there's a two liter turbocharged four cylinder. Now we're gonna go ahead and hop in the driver's seat. So there's our leather wrap steering wheel there. Then over here we have our radio. So there's our backup camera there. And then we have AM, FM, XM radio. And then for our media, we have Bluetooth audio, a USB and an aux input. And then there's our navigation system. Now here we can toggle our door locks so one touch will unlock all of them or lock all of them, which I really like once you get used to it. 
CD drive here. And then down here we have our dual zone automatic climate controls. And then we have three stage heated seats for the driver and front passenger. Then we have our cup holders, a little 12 volt there. And then here we can go through our drive mode. So we have Eco Pro, Comfort, and then Sport. And then it'll toggle it here, as well as the gauge cluster. Electronic parking brake, which you pull up to engage, press down and disengage. Automatic brake hold. And then our shifter, we hit this button here, pull down for drive, and we can slap over to manually shift. And then we pull all the way up for reverse, and then we can tap up for neutral. And then you just press P for park. And then here we have our dial and then our shortcuts for the radio. So we can hit menu here. It'll toggle the main menu, hit telephone. It'll toggle that if you have a Bluetooth uh, device set up, radio and media, which we've already been through. And then we even have a, a back button there. So I just, once you get used to the controls for this, they're really, really nice. And there's our center console cubby tray with our USB and aux input. And then we can even lock the trunk from right here. And there's a view of the back seat from up here. And there we have our sunroof, which is power. And we can one touch slide. And we can also go ahead and tilt that as well. really like this here. It feels really nice. It looks good too. But there's our glove compartment with owner's manuals. I almost forgot to touch on that Harman Kardon sound system. But to the left side of the steering wheel, we have our cruise controls. To the right side, we can go ahead and toggle our radio stations. That mode we can toggle between our external devices and the radio, Bluetooth controls here, and then of course we can toggle the volume there. And windshield wiper controls there. And there's that gauge cluster. There's our push button stop, or push button start with our auto stop toggle, excuse me. And finally, here we have our key fob. And next time we go ahead and take this 528i out on the road for a quick test drive. And I will say, just the whole setup for BMWs They've always been some of the best driving cars, in my opinion, even this 528i, just coming out of that corner, the acceleration is just exhilarating. And it's so smooth and it's right there at all times. You just put your foot down and just the smoothest shifts. Just so much fun to drive, even with this base model engine. I'm gonna put it into manual mode. I mean, just the shifts are so quick. Just whenever you want it. <laughs> just really fun cars to drive, really fun. We're gonna give it a bit of throttle here. And it really doesn't feel like you're going that fast. The turbo just really pulls you. Yeah, 
that's just really nice. I'm gonna put it in the Eco Pro mode now. And just like that, the car becomes so much more efficient. And you still have the ride quality that's just really, really refined, really great. And what's great about BMWs is like this one, you can get it for a fraction of the price that it was brand new. And I think this one has, yeah, 79,000 miles on it. Not noticing any suspension issues, powertrain issues. Just drives really well. And there's the auto stop that just cut on. I'm gonna give it throttle in Eco Pro mode. And of course you don't get the full power range there, but still you can feel that turbo working while still trying to maintain good fuel mileage. And one thing about BMWs, especially the newer ones, the ride is still really good, but you're really not thinking about that when you're driving these because they're just so much fun to drive. But even now, as I kind of feel for it, really, really smooth ride while still being very responsive. And you're still getting good feedback from the road. It's just really, really smooth. And I will say, especially going electric, I think BMW is going to be the company to be because they've always had some of the best driving cars. It's just the repair bills and the reliability has always been an issue for them kind of expanding, but especially with these four cylinder turbos, the six cylinder turbo, and just how far they've come kind of keeping up with everybody else when not having to worry about these engines and all the moving parts just about a great driving car when that's your only issue bmw is going to be ahead of everybody else as long as they have their battery technology and electric motor technology right so that's going to be interesting to watch But like I said, even this 15528i just it's been a remarkable, remarkable test drive. So this will bring me to the end of it. The 2015 BMW 528i.